Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's tutorial is going to be focused on a channel banner. Now this design, as you can see, is probably the simplest one I have ever done for a template or a tutorial, as there are just three layers. Now there's nothing here that's going to be a haha gotcha fooled ya. There's no hidden secrets to this. It's really super simple. And I think just about any program that I've reviewed as well as Photoshop alternatives can also do this banner. So without further delay, let's jump right into this. I'm gonna start off by going to File, New, and as usual, 1200 by 530. Now keep in mind, this is a much larger canvas size than we actually need. It's just there as a just in case if we need more space. Now we're going to come over to this rounded rectangle tool and I'm holding down with the left mouse button to pop up more options. We're going to drag it down randomly. Don't worry too much about the sizing just yet because we're going to come over to properties and make some adjustments. Now if you don't see the properties window, go over to window, scroll down to properties, click that. It'll pop up right here. That recommends you take it, drag it, and dock it to the side. For the width, we'll be doing 828, and for the height, we'll be doing 288. And keep in mind that this here, the space I'm outlining right now with my mouse, is the total space you're going to have for your text. Now you can make it longer or shorter, that's dependent on you and the needs that you have for your text. So just to keep the overall theme looking the same, just go ahead and keep it the same size. Now we're going to take this, do Control J, or come over to the fill, make that nothing stroke, pop this open right there, color picker, and we'll be using 31, 31, 31, probably my favorite shade of gray. Click OK there, and this will be switched to dots, this down to about three pixels, maybe four would look better. I'll leave it at four for now, though we can go ahead and make some adjustments. So go ahead and scale this down. Don't hold anything except the left mouse button when you're doing this. And to actually do that, I did Control T on my keyboard as a shortcut. So go ahead and scale this down and make sure it is centered. Now the sides are fine for me, but the top is not quite there yet. Let's go ahead and make some further adjustments until we are happy with how that looks. And that is actually a bit too much. Let's bring it down to three. And I almost forgot these edges are not quite round enough for what I want. Let's go ahead and round this to 40. And this as well needs to be rounded to 40. Perfect. Now we'll take these two and I recommend you do control J, control G and name this backup just in case so you have a copy of it before we merge anything that you can come back to and make changes to. So I'll go ahead and leave the backup there. These two, I'm gonna hold shift and click there and then up, or you can do click and then hold control and click down. Then right click, rasterize layers, right click and merge layers. Now we're gonna do control T once again, and this time we're gonna right click and go down to skew. Now we can hold this and drag it across to give this a bit of a skew, as the name suggests. Let's go a bit further. I am pleased with that. So we can hit the check mark and that is now saved. Let's create a new layer. Come over to the right. In Photoshop, actually recently added a triangle tool so if you don't have your Photoshop up to date or you're using a special version of CS6, then you won't have this tool. So you either have to find a triangle online and download it or make it yourself using the pen tool by holding shifts and clicking all the way around. So triangle tool, let's create that shape right here. And I'm holding shift as I create it. So all the sides are proportionate. Let's drop that down. And now we can actually curve this as well. So we don't want to curve it too much. Just a tad, about five pixels will do. Now do Control T and we'll move this up to about there. 
and we're going to do control T then right click and skew and same as before we are just going to skew this a tad right there we you can spend a bit more time messing around with it if you have a certain look in mind for a chat bubble but this will suit our needs here so I move it up to about there and you will notice it's now covering this dotted line. So just come to our rectangular marquee tool, highlight over the part up top and just pick delete. They'll make sure it's rasterized first, otherwise you will not be able to do that. Now we can go ahead and right click, merge down, then we do control J. This one down here, or this one up here will be top. And this one down here will be bottom, right click, Blending options, color overlay, and I recommend using light colors. Like here, I'm using a light blue at 76C2F2, though pink, red, yellow, etc. are also great options. I'm going to right click, rasterize layer style, and I'm just going to move this around until it looks like it's a drop shadow of sorts for this. Now we're going to right click on the bottom, go to blending options, go over to stroke and we want to use the following color 2B, 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 2B or not to be and not 45, we want 4, now we can click OK, then right click, copy layer style and paste that on the top and if you want a bit more of a visible shadow you can move up with the holding shift and moving it around like so or you can use the arrow keys though I will probably do a bit of this make it a bit larger now we can collapse that, collapse that one you can color code it if you wish but I'm not going to bother I'm going to create a new layer come over to my text tool We're using anime ace as the font and I'm going to type in rules this will be that blue color I'm going to right click Blending options, go over to stroke using that same 2B color and the size we want at 2 pixels. I want to increase the size of this text until it fits rather snugly. So, right about there. And then control T, right click, and skew. And this one we're just going to skew until it about matches. I recommend you drag it to the side and see how the blue lines up and just skew it until that blue is parallel there we go and then we just make sure it is all completely centered and that is it now I recommend you try out a couple different fonts until you find one that really suits your needs I spent probably more time trying out fonts than I did actually making this banner in my initial mock-up and I still didn't find one I quite liked, though I settled on Anime Ace. There are a lot of options out there in terms of fonts, so just play around and see what works well for you. Now to actually save this, don't save it with all this empty space here, otherwise it's going to make this image very small. So hover over the entire thing with the rectangular marquee tool, edit, copy merged, file, new, create, control V, delete the background, then from here you need to do file, export save for web or file save as and choose PNG thanks so much for watching I know this is pretty simple but it's a great way to try out a few different tools in Photoshop and get a pretty fun look for your server hope you all have an awesome day